it No gunshots, but they getting Okay, I had to take a phone call, but we're back. Alright, so we got that. So now we can switch around and back to terrain detail. And now we get to go all the way around this nice big river. Oof, that got a little close. I'm trying to keep it, like, close to the river. But yet, at the same time, I want to keep it a little ways away because I do have to fit fence in here as well. So, if I can keep it away in some spots and have it there in others, that'd be cool. Of course... It always has its own idea, but... I always hate going around the river and making curves in the field because they don't always end up, in fact, they never end up the way that I want them to, but I guess that's just how it goes. I'm actually going to chop that off there and redo it. We're making good progress though, thankfully. <clears throat> so I am still going to make like the big curved field over, you know, over in that area. Just I won't set up the pivot. Um, maybe I will, but, you know, it's just going to depend on what I figure out. Um, I was going to do a little bit of testing with it on, uh, Red River Valley. Uh, but when I went to go, cause like I was just, you know, I bought it on Westbridge and then was going to use it on... Central, or on, yeah, Central Valley, uh, Red River Valley, and I found out that editing the XML has, like, three parts in it, so I have to look in depth a little more at that, um, maybe what I'll do is just use, like, a crate, and have the crate set up so that it, you know, it's put out or whatever. Uh, I need to look at that. I know it has instructions in the zip file, I think. Or used to, or something like that. So I'll look at that. Now, I'd really like to get get a pivot set up. Because, you know, like I said, it is common in this area. So to have one would really be nice. But it's also not 
like a priority or anything. You know, if I don't have a pivot, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna care that much, I guess. Uh, you know, yes, it would be nice to have one, but I'm not gonna worry about it if I can't. Like, if it's gonna be a huge pain in the butt to add, I'm just gonna say the heck with it and not even do it. Um... Oh, now that I think about it, though, there was a map. Uh, I'd have to find it, but I think I used to have a map that had a pivot on it. I'd have to go back and look, though, and find out. But I am pretty sure that it did. Holy crap, that's a big area. That's definitely going to be a few fields. I'm definitely getting really excited because there's only a few more fields left to do and then we're ready for farms and I am just super pumped to do those because doing the farms means that we are that much closer to being done. Um, although I still need to get the starter pack of equipment ready to go but you know. I'll work on it. Um, I'll get there. I mean, it's... I've got everything laid out. I have, you know, I've already figured out what equipment I want to use. It's just a matter of putting it in Blender, either applying the old textures or baking new ones, and then putting it in-game and you know, getting it working, uh, but all in due time, I guess. So maybe that'll be part of Thursday's video is working on the equipment. Um, as I haven't, you know, decided what tomorrow's video is going to be. And so that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. I think it'll work. Okay, <clears throat> so we got that edge done.
Oh, I remember how I was doing that now. And then 11. So I would make that. There we go. Okay, actually, I want to be a little farther away from the road than that. <coughs> oh my goodness. And we're only halfway through the video. Seems like it's been longer than 15 minutes already. But I did also have to stop and take a phone call, so... That probably contributes to that. Ufta. Got a little bit far away on that one. Oh, too close on that one. A lot of adjusting, that's all that this is, really. That's kind of the one thing that I hate about going at an angle like this. Oh, of course it would do that. Um, is, you know, you kind of move one way and then you move the other and you just kind of wave back and forth a little bit. You have to have a really steady hand, and of course me having a cough does not help. My hand isn't quite the steadiest either. I mean, I don't think there's anybody that has a perfectly still steady hand. And if there is, well... Gee, must be nice. Am I almost there? Jeez. Getting there. Takes forever. Three minutes already. Two minutes, something like that. This is definitely a big, big field. But of course... You know, we're not using the entire thing as one big field, but <clears throat> if I was, holy smokes, would that be insane? Guess we gotta start off square because we need to remove here as well. Oh, man. Got to remove this. Make it a little bit more even. What 
cut off this little area and do it like this so I can get rid of that. Okay. <coughs> uh. Whoa, wrong button. Majorly wrong button. Ooh, too far. <laughs> okay, I need to uncheck that because using the right mouse button is getting annoying. It's kind of funny, like, any time I work on this map, I always think about, like, when I worked on, like, when I did my Craft Family Farms 15 map, you know, and, like, how much more I know and how much better I can do than when I was doing that map. That was my, well, I guess that was my second map, because I had tried making it one similar to it for 13 but then like my 13 giants editor quit on me or something like that i don't remember what the issue was but uh then then i got into 15 more and so then i made that map for it and then it was going pretty well you know, I had the thing done. I just needed to get animals working, I think, was the only issue. And then I could not figure out why my crops would not look correct. Like, they'd grow correctly and everything, but they wouldn't look right. Like, the corn would stay green and, you know, it would stay in, like, its second stage, kind of. And I couldn't figure out why. Well, now, of course, I know why, and it was because um, I had <clears throat> um, I had had to export the map and uh, redo some stuff on it, like because I had issues opening it in game, so I had to like export it and re-import it onto a new blank map and what I would always do is I'd export and import the um, the uh, terrain and at that time I didn't know that you're not supposed to do that and so I'd export it and then that was basically the whole reason behind it you know looking funny is because instead of just copying you know all of my texture files and map 01 files over like I know how to do now I just you know kept doing it that way and that was the whole reason you know of course like I said at that time I did not know that I had no idea that that some you know that was something that you had to do because I was still kind of beginner mode there but um, now I definitely know that. And so then, you know, the few times that this has crashed, I know all I got to do is just export the, um, you know, I just export the, <coughs> uh, you know, all of the objects and whatnot, and then uh, import them. And then just copy all of my map 01 files and all of my texture files. And then, you know, it'll be, it'll be the same without having to export the terrain file or terrain piece in Giants Editor. So, you know, definitely something that I wish I kind of wish I had known then. But in a way, I'm glad that I didn't because that map now looking back at it was horrible um it was so ridiculous but 
I mean, there were cool things on it, but a lot of the stuff was just ridiculous. And, like, my gravel roads were the size of interstates. I mean, it was... It was insane. But it was definitely an experience. You know, it was a learning experience there. Which you gotta have one of those every once in a while. And with modding, you get those on a regular basis. That's for sure. Okay, so we got five minutes. So I've probably got enough time to finish, like, um, uncovering this field, probably. I could not imagine this being one field. I mean, this would have to be bigger than that one, maybe. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It'd be big. That's all I that all that I know. Okay. Alright, and then the final little bit. There we go. Okay. So, now what we have to do... Okay, so... I don't think that I'm really going to go with what was there. I'm just going to kind of make my own here. So, yeah, but I'm going to end the video here. Um... I will, between now and the next mapping video, I will figure out what uh, what the deal is with the pivots so I can, you know, notify you guys whether or not we will be using them. And then, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do, uh, figure out with the pivots, and then maybe I'll do a field or two between now and then, but whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check, turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for um, my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.